Hater pouring heat. Corbin Burns watches from the dugout. Eight no hit innings for him. The Brewers a strike away. Haters one two. Strike three. They'll secure it at first, and there it is. The second no hitter in Brewers franchise history. As Hater picks up the save, burns the win. And they're erasing history all the way back to 1987, Rock, your you day. What, what, a, what a magical year it has been for the Brewers, capped off tonight by the no-hitter, Corbin Burns, Josh Hader. What a performance by these guys. I mean, you talk about a Cy Young candidate. Corbin Burns just kind of leapfrogged a couple of guys tonight with that no-hit effort. Outstanding work. Boy, if you've watched these guys, these three all-star pitchers, and Corbin Burns especially tonight if you watch him all season long you knew you had a chance of seeing something like this happen and tonight turned out to be that special night yeah Brewers have three guys those three starters every one of them all three of them have an opportunity or had the potential for the no hitter they have that kind of stuff but Burns able to put it all together he had 15 punch outs against the Cubs he has 14 tonight Unbelievable. That game was in question throughout. I mean, it was a three to nothing victory. The big difference between that no hitter tonight and the one in Baltimore in 87, we had a seven to nothing lead early in that game and just kind of cruising through. And the only question was whether Nieves was going to be able to get the no hitter. He was able to do that, but I'll tell you, the Brewers now with two no hitters. It's about time, 34 years between no hitters you now for the Brewers. And there it is, the final strike, a slider by Hader. Straw can't hold up, and they secure the out at first base. So there it is, Josh Hader embracing Omar Narvaez. Craig Council over in the Brewer dugout. Corbin Burns shooting out of that dugout after that final strikeout. What a night. What a night for the Milwaukee Brewers.